Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Hey, it is Pox again. So today I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys some more content with the Righteous Fire Trickster. Mainly because in the previous video we crafted all of our gear. Um, if you guys didn't check that out, it's right there on the channel. Or, or And I want to show you guys the gear actually being used now. So this character is level 88. Remember, this is solo cell found essentially. Uh, the only thing we've traded is unique jewels, but this doesn't use unique jewels, so it doesn't really matter. And the map or the private league also has 20% more life and everything is crafted because you're not allowed to trade and all of your gear uh, drops white in this league. All right, so this is a armory map that I have. I haven't really went too high with the map tiers yet. Uh, I can see the Atlas is pretty much just, just starting. So here we go. Just feel free to ignore the gifted subs. People have been trolling and giving me money so we can't make the YouTube videos, so just ignore them. Oh, this is even Solar Guards, that's good. So this map is also a 40% less recovery map. So you can see how the build does with like actual map mods that um, kind of like work against the build. In abyss as well. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is boss. Cool. Remember, a lot of the times when you see my life drop, it's just because we're casting Vol Righteous Fire. We're not actually, like, taking a big hit or anything. The nice thing about this playstyle as well is um, if you're scared to like tank something because you know we're not playing like a jug with 9 endurance charges, although we are pretty tanky, but if you're scared to tank something you can always just like use Scorching Gray and play defensive uh, and pull back because you're using a Balefire or you can just use a Six Link Scorching Ray and because we're a trickster and we have access to like mana in our ascendancy, you can totally just like sustain it and have no issues really. Let's grab this jeweler. Nice. Um, there's one pack over here. And there's a pack there. Nice. Um, so one of the big things, I guess, like with this character to get it started, because I know a lot of people ask me if it's like a good league starter. Um, it's really simple to get it started. We pretty much delve crafted all of our gear. Um, really the main important things that I have would be like getting a bale fire, just because it gives you that huge scorching gray, which helps immensely with single target. Uh, even though this character has really good single target, um, and that also frees up not having to get like an elder crafted helmet or something or like an essence crafted helmet Because if you're playing SSF that can be a bit difficult to try to acquire um, And this is just using 
Elemental Focus, Righteous Fire, NKOE, Efficacy, Burn Damage, which gives us this area. At level 20, we will have another uh, Radius Bump, and we actually have not picked up any AOE from the tree either, so we can get like much more on that. One other interesting thing is you can totally scrap these 10 points here and actually spec Acrobatics. So you'll lose a bit of effective life, you'll lose one max fire res, 1% regen, but sustain is really not that difficult. Like, I mean, I know you see your life going down, but this is not what gets characters killed. Like, what gets you killed is, like, getting smacked in the face for 9k, uh, which is what acrobatics, for example, would prevent. So actually, with acrobatics and vol grace, you completely counter, um, like, most, most hits in general that hit you. Plus, you have fortify to go through, so that's really nice. Now, I've also decided, this is just me personally, um, I have uh, crafted energy shield on most of my gear. The reason why is because this extra energy shield that we have, if you read what Righteous Fire does, um, Righteous Fire actually burns your life and your ES, and that's what deals damage. So the more effective life you get, the more damage you deal, but the more degen you're gonna take. But like I said, the way I've personally played, always played RF, when I played my RF Berserker to 100 is, if you can kill anything that gets into this proximity of the circle, it doesn't get a chance to hit you. It literally doesn't. So, like, basically, there's two ways to play PoE. You use Temp Chains Blasphemy with Aspect of the Spider and slow the shit out of everything so it doesn't hit you. Or you kill everything before it gets to you, even if you're playing, like, a melee character. So you actually kind of have, like, a stealthy assassin-type character. And it's actually really easy to counter this degen, too. For example, if I just summon a Stone Golem, I'm already regening. And when moving, I get bonus regen while moving. Um, and then if I were to just kill like one target, like let me go for example to act one here So it'd be an interesting like just to show you how good the recovery buff is So let's get rid of mr. Stone golem here. Where is mr. Stone golem? Goodbye stone golem Let's like remove I guess ons because I don't have any plus max res then and we're going to have this go down, and we're just going to tap a guy and show you how crazy this recovery boost is. And if you're kind of scared to play a, a style like this, you can just use a Worm Flask. Um, worm Flask will allow you to basically get your recovery boost all the time. Okay, so let's go just tap a guy really fast. That's what our recovery is all the time when we're mapping. So that's without flasks. If I were to have flasks on, it's even faster. Um, which is just, it's pretty, it's pretty cool really to see like how insane the trickster ascendancy is. And this is, like I said, this is me playing it tailored the way I want. This is not a defensive one. This is a much more aggressive style. I'm even using like two fragility jewels, for example, to have in, like permanent onslaught at all times with the ons heritage. Uh, you have really good options for shields. You've got like ons heritage, you have Saffles frame, which I personally don't like. A lot of people really like Saffles. My biggest issue with Saffles is it guts your block chance completely and gives you spell block. Um, but it's like you get max res any a spell block. You don't really need both. And since you're playing like Trickster, which has no physical mitigation, you're taking every single physical hit to the face unless you're using dodge or block. But you don't have block because you have, you know. So that's kind of like one thing I kind of would recommend players to move away from. Uh, Saffle's frame unless you really know what you're doing. Another really cool thing is there's a lot of great corrupts on shields. Like there's one that's like 12% of physical or fire damage taken as physical. No, other way around. Physical damage taken as fire, which works really well. Uh, and there's nothing really crazy with this either. You can see I'm running a level 20 purity of fire. Um, there's really nothing expensive. I mean, nothing is that crazy like to get the character going. Uh, especially again because of like the whole way recovery works you can get away with really cheap gear and the best part as well is like you can just play scorching gray so if you're scared because of like i said the recovery uh bonus when you're doing a boss just take a portal to town you don't have rf on anymore and you just boom and you're pretty much good to go so anyway hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.